What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And t this is an hour special. So picking up where we left off last time, we are actually going to start the start the hostilities down here uh, in Egypt. Start to push back some of these armies eastwards and start to open up a bit, of a, a bit more of a southern flank against the Ottomans. Hopefully draw some of these troops down from Ankara. Uh, but first of all we're gonna, we need to hit this small army here that's been camped on next to Egypt for a while so let's attack it's a very small army it's frankly it's not something I would ordinarily auto resolve but no it's not frankly it's not something I would ordinarily fight but I don't want the auto resolve to punish my brand new army that's just joined them and cause them to have to you know replenish and get back up to uh, get back to order So, just dumb strategy. Dumb strategy because there's not really any need to do anything clever. Yeah. So we're going to take some losses because of... Uh, because of special artillery rounds that they'll have. So they'll probably have some shrapnel shot. Quick climb. Because they be ha they be howitzers. Janissary musketeers. Cairo infantry guards. Sekban janissaries. Ready, ready for action. Actually, let's no, not be silly. Not very efficient. I just don't want them to shoot into this combat. And where did you come from? can take a quick climb in. You guys switch to round shot. Aim at the general's bodyguard. Yeah, they broke pretty quick. Stop my artillery. You men knock out the Zimindari horsemen. Musketeers are routing through my cavalry, which is very sweet of them. You guys chase after the general. Just to make sure he does go away. Send someone in to kick the boots. Kick someone, send someone in to kick the doors down of that artillery position. You guys don't shoot. Same with you. As they hop over. Yeah. Cover. And you man just bash yourself to death against the deadly horsemen. Yeah, they can't be around for too much longer. No, there they go. Hurrah! So now this army can take position in take up the position in Cairo, and then the Cairo garrison can go on the offensive. 
to you. Enrico Castro, push out. You men get in the city so you can replenish from a position of relative safety. Ernesto Defendi, good old Ernesto. Walk up to Yazid Mehmet. First, let's push them back. Now, the Nile Delta. On the Nile Delta. And for God's sake, be sure you do not risk the cannon. I risk them all the time. They're not a problem. So we're going to knock back this army first, and then the other two Ottoman forces will likely establish themselves as a, a reinforcing army. Well, okay, a supported army. Supported battle. Let's see, I have Ernesto has fought... For the Italian forces for many, many years, and his army demonstrates that highlight highlights that uh, gathering of skills. Many, many elite units. Ernesto himself holds many battle honors. So I think. What have you got? Howitzers. Howies, huh? In we go. The trick will be now not to lose my... Oh, hello. Intercept la cavalerie. Where do you want to go, cavalry? Where do you want to go? Because the heavy cavalry's coming in. Ooh, armoured cavalry. French knights. Not ideal. Send the marines in. The first foot well, one unit of marines in. Mamelukes aren't a problem. Nope, avoid the risks of souls. No, you men jump on the Circassian armoured cavalry. They are just mamelukes. Good. That was a bit of a concern actually for a moment there. Because that armoured cavalry isn't a pushover. Come on. Deploy. Let's get some cavalry around the flank of their position. Pretty ricky tick. Let's probably do a bit of a withdrawal here. Or you guys load up and pour fire into the Riskers of Souls, hopefully. Damage control. Shrapnel shot. Is that the risks of souls? The risks of souls are shattered. Good stuff. Okay, let's 
Okay, my howitzer is firing at these units that are currently sat more to the rear. They're just semi, so my gen my militia my Marines have a good shot. We've intercepted the general's bodyguard. So if we can kill the general, that would be pretty neat. The Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. Go on 15th, reload and pour musketry onto them. Good stuff. I'm blowing holes in my own guys right there. Take out the general's bodyguard. Excellent shot, sir. So these poor hussars have been shot to bits from the get-go. Bring back this regiment of horse. Charge the semini. Good. Are they firing with their pistols? They are. Okay, retarget. The guns. Probably safer if they all target that unit off in the distance. Let's get Ernesto out of there. I've been killed by a stray musket ball. Oh, hand mortars. It's not good. Enemy general has been killed. All my gunners engage that Nizam on the hill. Same with my artillery, to be honest. Actually, let's get all my field artillery can engage them. Okay, my field artillery engage them. Okay, let's try and pick. some other units for my cavalry to chase down and kill to the ore. I'm pretty set on killing those hand mortars because they're pretty good infantry really. It's always worth killing some of them. Yeah, the fifth is ammo routed. Is that everyone? I think it's everyone. I'm gonna continue. The main thing is to make sure I don't stupidly run through my guys and run my guys in through any any defenses like I might have just done. No, they're okay. Nesto. Stop my artillery just in case. Should try kill that Nizam with this unit. There we go. The more cavalry you have on a unit, generally the better pathfinding is. It's not a guarantee, but it's generally better at least.
Oh, they're definitely not going to die. Because they, they're spread all over the place. Come on. Okay, these are the last guys left. The 21st Auto Nizam Infantry. Well, this one guy is the last guy left. Oh, oh god! The red line! It's so close! But is it close enough? No. <laughs> it took them a while, though. God, that was real messy. I, start, I was really getting a bit cocky there. But their army is near as damn it destroyed. Avanti, he marcha! Never mind, I'll okay, be. If I march you north, then east, then I can get make sure the reinforcements coming in the way I want them to be. I don't. Are they, are they being reinforced from all the way back here? I think they must must be. Because this guy is this army here, and this unit must be these guys over here. Huh. Just a second, guys. I need to nip to the loo. Just a moment. And I'm back. Right, so let's go knock out this force that actually is equipped with a 64-pounder heavy artillery. But uh, we'll see how useful that is for them on the battlefield soon enough. But yeah, it would be, it would be nice to not have a bunch of stacks of Ottoman troops sat around Ankara when we finally push. I would like them to be a bit more spread out. And one way of doing that... One way of doing that is through... Forcing invasions on multiple fronts. Ooh, not, not a lot of infantry on this one. As usual, I don't want my mountain jaegers near the guns, I want them to be on the outside. So hopefully we don't get screwed over from a reinforcement perspective. Deploy my guns. There we go. Yeah, there's a bit of weird recent bit of weird deployment coming on going on, so let's pivot you guys and deploy stakes. I have to push on these guys rapidly. Even though I don't necessarily want to. God, yeah, I do. At least they seem to be more focused on my pikemen. In which case then, focus my... Oh, nuts. Okay. You guys push up. I wonder if you can spot where they want to charge. Surprise! Go on, hit him. Okay, you guys get up here. You guys stay facing that direction. They really want to kill these pikes. My little pew pew guys. 
taking down the Nizam. Or taking down the mounted Nizam anyway. There they go. Hey, the closer you charge me, close the the uh, the sooner I get to deploy my pikemen into the combat, which you don't want because you'll be quick climbing your own dudes. So pouring musket fire in at point blank range. You guys charge straight through into the Desert Warriors. Turn my cavalry, turn my art my artillery off of Quicklime, because that's just crazy. You guys engage the Nizam. You guys push up. It's only a unit of Israeli, so it's not a huge concern. Let's run you guys, run you guys out to the right. Get these Swiss Grenadiers in. Let's fight the Nizam on the left. You guys halt fire. Everyone target them with quick line. There's no point worrying and redeploying it now. Hit the general's bodyguard. Okay, they're able to pick the riders off pick the riders off and their horses pretty easy. The mounted Nizam have fallen. You guys charge the Kurdish hillmen. You men start to pick off the Fellaine musketeers. Two units to start to bombard the bombard the infantry that's currently sat behind cover. They are about to be persuaded to leave from an outflanking maneuver. Ashi Bazooks, eh? Okay, all the artillery focus on that unit of musketeers out of self preservation. There we go, a very effective initial volley. Looks like they want to chase after my pikemen. Understandable. My pikemen, however, are going to melt those Fellaine musketeers and then immediately, well, I was about to say immediately, turn around and mow down those guys, but apparently not. Okay, pivot. We've now got infantry coming in on, onto the field from two directions.
charge into the camel gunners. Didn't manage to kill many cavalry on the charge. These men are going to be reloaded and ready. Open fire against the Nizam. Brave, they went for the Grenadiers. So I kind of backwards walked into a reasonable solution over here. Let's see how well my pike pikemen do against the Bashi Bazook. They should, in theory, do a bit better because they're all armoured up. Oh, this artillery unload round shot on the 6th all the way over there. Bashi bazooks are wavering. There they go. If anyone else was going to come onto the field they would have been they would be here by now. So aha actually there is. You know Nizam there. All the artillery aim at the 40th order. These guys are going to pivot. Yeah, let the pikemen do what they like. They're going to be happy. And yeah, the Nizam lights weren't going to hang around for very long. keep these guys in a direction to chase away the 6th Orta because they are still fairly strong. Yeah, they weren't going to stick around for too long either. Their morale was already pretty damaged and every time Fire by Rank hits, it, their morale kind of steps down. Oh nuts, I didn't mean to click continue. Eh, fast forward time. Lancer Guard Spear into some Janissary Grenadiers. Yeah, you chase them down. My general's not going to do anything. Oh yeah, our other, other reinforcements coming back. Or coming in. There we go. Didn't impact us too much time-wise. there we go that's another well that's the the way to jerusalem opened so you men push up you guys push up and this army's replenished that will be good cool so you're nearly ready for action You're replenishing, you're probably going to head west. See if we can lure the Russians into a battle over here. Everywhere else though I think is pretty well sorted. We can't do Bavaria yet. Pietro Castelli can leave the Americas. We're going to build two ships, sell them up. We're not going to hit the Windward Islands because well, I mean, we're going to have to hit them sooner or later. And if I don't hit them, then they might just send them after one of my other armies, other cities, so. I suppose I may as well. Let's upgrade some ports. Pretty sure the roads look pretty... Well, I was about to say, I thought the roads looked good. They did not. Keep upgrading even though that the Leeward Islands is currently being blockaded. Mm, 
Okay, get you guys into there right now. Good. Could probably do with sending over to take someone down to take Ceylon, but that'll probably happen after we've made a breakthrough in the Americas. Not the Americas, in uh, Europe. So, or in the Middle East. So you guys are combining... Now, what do you need? Uh, another skirmish unit and probably two units of line. Let's make sure we build, we buy the right units. So we want riflemen if we can get them, which we can't. Or two units of line, and then let's check. Yeah, riflemen would look like they're. I maxed out. Looks like I can't even recruit. Generic Italian light infantry. So let's get another unit of not colonial line. Line infantry. Good, that'll be that army complete, because we do have actually we do have a lot of scamps over here to be aware of when we push on. Riga. So Brest Litovsk is going to be destroyed, so let's hit enter. Oh. No. Eh, you guys alter that. So our armies managed to get to Moscow before our spies got there. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you can continue to try and convert Belgrade. We will not be putting up with that for very long. You can attempt to steal our technologies, but you know as well as I, it will not be enough. The onward roll of the the new Roman Empire is storming their way through. Wait, I didn't see where they where they attacked. Oh, is it the army that snuck, snuck through at Transylvania? That'll be what it is. They've laid siege to somewhere, like the frustration, frustrating little scamps they are. Okay, it looks like their armies are kind of scattering because they don't quite know what to do. <laughs> their, their programming their programming has failed. And they don't quite know what they're supposed to do. Still, our only option is to kill them all. Down to the last Russian. I mean, by taking Moscow, we will have seriously hampered their uh, house. Oh, you! Were, that, I remember you were you were uh, attacking the fort, were you not? To be honest, I'm okay with these four armies being back here, covering Bavaria, because I'm thinking I'll probably need those armies to uh, knock out the to knock out Ankara itself yeah you've got enough enough firepower behind you just to knock out these raiders can you guys join that Repair the damage, get you guys to march up with them. Raids, ports being blockaded, that's okay. Still recruiting, you march down to Kazan. Demand this territory because they have no garrison, or no, no deployed garrison. Moscow, you can build a church school to help try and convert the peoples to our religion. Okay, our spies can go down to Tbilisi. You can go to Astrakhan. 
you go on to Ardabil. Actually, we can knock out the Russians and maintain Britain as a bit of a barrier against the Ottomans full stop. That's pretty handy. Commercial base and let's take you guys knock out this leftover army hurrah okay you need a unit of heavy cavalry let's get, in, get into a mirror repair the port repair the pleasure gardens probably not strictly needed but meh You're quite a good garrison army. So you're ready. Oh, the Curlin rebels. Let's just auto resolve that. <laughs> Disregard. Um, okay, so what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? So you, in the garrison, although you need resupply, let's borrow Al instante. Yeah, we borrow anyone. To be honest, they're only one line, they're one unit short and they're not fighting in a siege, so we'd probably be fine. Just put Minsk under siege, march up Georgiana in reinforcement. Ludic Ludovico Scopoli can knock out this leftover fleet. This leftover army. Pronti, in marcia. You guys, I might send on a straight run towards Chakask. Because right now we've got a safe way to get there. We might not have to fight all these Russians at great expense and great time. Let's repair the pleasure gardens. You guys are okay. You guys are reinforcing. Okay, so Moscow is handing us a handy 10,000 in tax, which is great. But we're going to want to do a few things first. We'll see we're going, to want to do, we're going to want to do a few things. We're going to want to fight, capture Minsk, attack this army, attack this army. So let's start right to left. Let's go and destroy this small pocket of Russian troops. Then we'll push out from St. Petersburg west towards Riga. Then we will uh, fight outside Minsk, if time allows, that is. Right now it's important to make sure we do the cleanup. Okay, let's create... Create two wings of men. Which let's do. If I pick them up back to front. Yes, it does deploy them the way I want them to. Push up. Up too far because they are right there. But they are dragoons. They may decide to just get off of their horses 
entirely. Tag them before they have a chance to go anywhere. of naked marines. Yeah, these Cossacks like the look of my light infantry, but my cavalry likes the look of them even more. I know these guys aren't really doing anything. They're firing most of their shots straight into the mud. Come on, Cossack cavalry. Toggle skirmish mode. Let's get my heavy cavalry to do a real wide flank. Everyone's going to mow down the 90th regiment. run past the line infantry, even though we're right behind them. I want to charge into this. No. I want to run into this big old combat over here. He's not shooting anything useful, but that's not terrible either. The 111th is taking a bit of the brunt of this. Well, but they've broken. So we've got militia and dragoons. Okay, pour, pour a volley into the back of the dragoons. Goons have broken. Knocking a few men off their horses. Come on, militia. Yeah, that's the end of them. off the horses. Ah, oh, that's okay. We haven't got to chase them down. To be honest, when they get to a... Sometimes it feels like when they get to a certain level of... Well, don't even, didn't even need to. Sometimes it feels like if you do enough damage to them, then they will naturally try and gravitate towards another... a larger army to try and gain some sort of strength. Okay, the new men, Alonso Russo, are going to go west against Narva. So let's keep on doing as much damage as possible. Yeah. Things are going well with this campaign. Things are going really well, considering how, you know, not, not long ago, the problem was... The problem was more like, uh, you know, will, will I even survive? It was quite a delicate time.
so going wide like this with a long with a with a big gun line in the center is risky because sometimes the cavalry will just run straight for your you'll run they'll run straight for this cavalry line so that's why I'm deploying some cavalry right there in case they get up to stuff but I, in general I am anticipating a bit of a general advance at speed Especially when they're all—they seemingly they're quite spread out like this. Okay, you, you shrapnel shot that infantry. You shrapnel shot those cavalry. You shrapnel shot that cavalry. Although actually they're all out of range, so yeah. Uh, it still did pretty well. Actually, it killed it killed the captain. You aim at that militia on the flank. You guys aim at the thirty second over there. You guys run because you are a lot more stretched out. Well, to be honest, actually, you guys stay where you are. You guys open up a volley on the hussars. Go on, Riflemen. This should be devastatingly accurate at this close range. There we go. So I've really not balance the flanks well, chiefly out of fear of the cavalry. Coming back again. That's what you're after. Let's push up. Yeah, there are any Cossacks. Roverman took a bit of a hammering. You men charge the light horse. Bombard every remaining unit with my artillery. Pull back. So these guys will have to redeploy. So much death. Come on, foot guards. Sparkly boys. 47, they're asking for a volley to tear the side. Yep. Artillery took care of that. Same with the 74th. Holy hell. These men are now marching up into range for a good old fashioned shootout. Focus all my artillery fire onto this last unit because they are poor devils. 
Yep, the hundred and second, the hundred and twenty second there. Uh, when some artillery opens up, then they're ready for it. If they last that long, actually. So that's my field artillery battery, and that's my howitzer battery. I'm sat there. Howitzers are fired. Miss, miss. Got some hits at the center, at the far end. It was enough. It was very much enough. Look at them all run. <laughs> We're going to squeeze the forces that are hiding out of Riga. God, that was a good win. There we go. The Pleasure Gardens are ours. So in terms of troops they've got here, they've got... A small stack and a full stack. General Field Marshal of the Army. Well, he'll provide some buffs, won't he? Right, the other battle was Mario Torcelli at Minsk. Let's go clear out these Russians. And actually, I might swap out like this. I'll have the heavy cavalry in support, please. Well, thank you very much. So let's go take the city. Take yet another city, actually. I think that's probably going to be how we do do it. Uh, we go around and knock out, recapture their cities because we've got a very good line on being able to do that. Their rear and towards Astrakhan and Don Voisko is not well protected, and uh, Riga is. Well, we're on our way. Okay, so I'm going to trundle my guns along up to here. My howitzers can fire from here. We've got a right hand brigade to push forward. And a left hand brigade to push forward. Bulk of cavalry. Bulk of our cavalry is going to be on the left with our general because it's away from the town. But obviously, we have. Deployment shenanigans. So we're about... Okay, they're coming up on top of the hill. We're coming out on top of the hill. At least that's... something. Okay, let's take the last two of you, of these guys. Okay. Oh, my horse got up over on the left as well. But we're going to push up and knock out their artillery. So these, so these three units here might actually just dig in and face that way towards where some of the reinforcements are coming in from. Okay, you guys run. Because we are being engaged with quicklime. human limber up. Let's see how well shrapnel shot treats us. Pretty good. So we need to push right up into their faces. Because the terrain does not give us an advantage. We need to get right up into their grill. Yep, 
new men garrison the town hall, and new men hunker down nearby. Do not charge. Give me a minute. Let me specifically have a chance to fire a volley at point blank range. Oh god, that was so many men. Get our cavalry involved on the flank. So Okay, it was you then. They were they were interested in, not anyone else. desperate to try and face my cavalry but they're actually witnessing what it's going to cost them that's a lot of cavalry let's also get my heavies in there Okay. Push up. Steady. Push up. Also steady. We should win the cavalry fight because our cavalry is generally of much better quality. Switch to round shot for our howitzers. So the Cossack infantry soon going to be out for the count. My marines are doing a great job against the general's bodyguard. New men advance up. Oh, okay, you are charging. So you guys square. Or you guys square. New men engage the 57th. Don't face and shoot cavalry because we're actually going to win this one the third regiment of militia looks mighty upset as long as the square holds these dragoons die Okay, get. Get my cavalry out of the way. Keep my infantry moving up. I'm not, I don't want to chase them down that really. There's a lot of cavalry defences back here. I don't really want my uh, infantry messing around in. My cavalry messing around in. Switch to round shot. Bombard the 3rd Regiment. Lots of troops streaming away. The troops upon the hill are starting to spawn as well. So my desire would be to mop up mop up the left and swing around like so up to the hill it's very much possible because the uh, the AI is failing so let's see if I can get these men over here to already sort of form a line. Grenadiers! How do they get there? Let's surround them. Keep my general out of the way.
she will be charging them sort of in the flank. Okay, that army has been routed in the pro in the true meaning of the word this time. Apart from that, you need a line, but that's what cavalry is for. Cavalry and field artillery. these men everyone sans general charge those line infantry so I don't line infantry fools so I haven't got to worry about them you men your job is to keep pushing around towards the hill where there are pikemen which my howitzers can just about reach. You men push up. Line infantry charge the pikes. Let's get my marines around to the rear. You guys keep on running. The pikes might kill my men. My marines are gonna will help to a certain degree. So I'm charging them in the rear. Hopefully we can rout them. Toss of a coin. Nope, there they go. Charge this regiment of horse in to knock out the 48th regiment of foot. More cavalry. Push these men around the flank. Let's get my line start walking up the hill. Oh no, the third light horse. There we go. Send up a second line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up time right now because it's, there's like, they might even flee. Yeah, there they go. The morale just completely failed. Sweet. Well, that is the territory of Minsk secured. Yeah, back you go. The city is ours now. So then my rake... My rake goes on to... Zahedon, I suppose. Um, are you in position? You are in position. Very well. Although, to be honest, it's not going to really make a whole lot of difference. Let's take... Oh. Uh, got another fo another force being built here at Tunis, which, which, Tunis, which I don't really need. So I'm going to leave them be for now. Let's take the Acasta over, over to Sardinia. Get 
get these men to mount up. Let's land on Corsica. We're going to declare war. Let's see if Bavaria joined them. Bavaria did join Genoa. So now we are here. And now Bavaria is our enemy. So you can march up and take... Well, march up and hit the city. As can you. As can you. And I'm curious, is can I get these guys over to here? Yes! Okay, let's pick. Even though it's the weakest army, I might probably better off pick someone like them. We're going to hit Bavaria. Although, oh Jesus Christ, I didn't realise how depleted they were. <laughs> Did not look at that one bit. Um, this is, pff, good God. Um, okay, well, sorry for hyping that up a bit too much in the last couple of episodes, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Bavaria, and then we can finally bring these four armies back into the fold, and they'll pro probably be landing around Ankara. Cheers, everyone.